One of the most powerful competitors in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Live Oak, Florida. Weighing in at 270 pounds, Titus O'Neil. You know, Titus always says his proudest achievements are what he does for his community. Well, Titus also has plenty of in-ring accomplishments, Michael. He's a former tag team champion and also the first ever 24-7 champion. Titus works just as hard uh, uh, in the uh, ring uh, as he does uh, outside uh, of it. And that's bad news for his opponent. The snake is here. And his opponent from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 249 pounds, Jake the Snake. You know, Jake the Snake Roberts has been awesome throughout his career, but at WrestleMania, he has the dubious distinction of being one of The Undertaker's first victims. Yeah, but this is a man with no fear who almost ended The Undertaker's streak before it even started. Hall of Famer with sinister credentials. Jake the Snake Roberts looks ready to drop his opponent and then let Damian do the rest. Jake the Snake Roberts ready for action here tonight. It's going to be difficult facing off against Jake the Snake between his mind games, his athleticism, and the constant threat of a snake bite. Fear is definitely something Roberts feeds off of. Not to mention the always looming threat of being hit with that DDT. Roberts is certainly not an opponent you take lightly. And he's standing across the ring from Titus O'Neil. Since Titus made it to the ring without sliding under the apron, we can safely say he is one of the most powerful opponents you could ever draw on the ring. Titus' strength among superstars is absolutely legendary. If he leans too much into his power, there's no denying that strategy has served him well in the past. Oh my goodness! Oh, kick right to the knee. And now Titus O'Neil is under immense pressure. And Titus needs to find that spark. Just launched. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. He thinks he has it. There's the kick out by Jake Roberts. Keeping a loss at bay for now. Able to reverse. Jake's finally able to slow all that incoming offense. Could be the table turner Jake desperately needed. And Corey, how do you account for Titus O'Neil's strength when facing him in action? Well, facing a fired up Titus like holding on for dear life. Even if you can take the strikes, he can still throw you around like nothing with his power game. So I'd suggest leaning into your speed, creating a lot of separation from O'Neill. Deadlift gut wrench suplex. I do not see this match going on much longer. There's too many more moves like that from there. You have got to be from the top. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Absolutely terrible landing ringside. Oh, what a knee lift. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Oh, fighting nasty there. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. And fear has to be rising in his opponent with a devastating move like that from Roberts. Play. Bam. He's looking a little weary now. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. The scoop slam sets things up. And Roberts is taking control in this match. Creating some separation from Titus O'Neil, staying away from Titus's power game. And he's able to reverse. Now, oh, not to the belly. Oh, loving it. Oh, Shoulders down. 
as you could possibly get without the bell ringing. Titus gets fended off. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Take the snake, here it comes. DDT. Can Titus come back from that? Makes a cover. One, two, that's it. That will end it. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Jake the Snake Roberts. They just won a very important match. <laughs> I think I might need to sell some of my Titus Worldwide stock after a loss like that.